all right what's up we back at it youtube it's your boy lunar we reacting to uh this we reacted to her earlier on another video i think it, who was it p i want to say it was uh p's world and now it said he broke up with me woman uh, woman that exposes exposed her boy her broke boyfriend asked for her money back complains oh man i told y'all what i tell y'all bro she he he broke up with her though damn bro he he was a real one though you're not gonna disrespect him i don't ah uh, man i called it though i called it i knew the right the right was on the wall though I called it. Did she let the internet get to him? But let's see what he got to say on this situation. Dating a broke guy. And I was just cracking up because he doesn't follow me on none of my social media accounts. So I just thought it was kind of funny because he was. The homie said somebody sent him that shit. Then it was, it was going to get. I don't know why women don't think that shit not going to come back. Never the type. He was the kind of guy that would tell me that. If he follows me on my social media accounts, that it's gonna like make people have like the evil eye towards us, and then like possibly like more women are gonna try to get with him because they know that he's with me. But anyways, I'm gonna go through a little quick uh, Q and A because I've been getting so many questions and I'm kind of tired of answering them on live. It's getting really repetitive. So how old is he? Um. 30 and he's 40 okay how long were you guys together for two years did he ever pay for dates um at first we would just chill in his house that was how we spent the first six months and we just spoke and just stayed at his house pretty much i don't really remember what we ate the first six months Oh, I would come over after I have already had dinner. So we would do like a late night type of thing. And it was cool with me because I'm, I'm low maintenance. Like I can spend the whole day by myself. And then at night just get a little bit of um conversation. And So translation, he was busting you down. Uh, let me <laughs> preface this conversation by saying that uh, I did review the first video. And I didn't even know that this video was out and available. Because I don't be following these people. But... I was looking at the responses, like I say that I do, and I was looking at the responses of what you guys were saying, and you were saying that, oh, man, she came back, and she gave more context, and the guy left her, and stuff like that. So I'm seeing this for the first time. Uh, but in the first video, for those of you that's not familiar, she was complaining about dating a broke guy. She was saying that, you know, she too old to be dating a broke guy, and she's trying to figure out what to do because she used to date a guy with money, and a guy with money was narcissistic, and... It was a horrible relationship, but she loves this guy. He's awesome. He has a great personality. He adores her and all of that. But, you know, she's tired of not getting to the bag and, and basically dating a guy that is not generating the type of revenue, basically, and, that she wants him to generate. So now she's getting additional context, and she's saying that the first couple months or the first six months, uh, they wasn't really doing nothing. I don't think it's because he was broke. I think it's because he wasn't going to spend no money. And he wasn't about to trick no money on no trick that was just coming over and busting it down for a real one. So now she's adding additional context. And so it gives us uh, a better perspective by which we're going to respond to this video. Let's continue. You know, watch some TV and, and I'm good, you know. But then after the six months, I did kind of like want to go outside because I think like the temperature changed. Like it got to kind of like spring, summer. So I wanted to go outside and enjoy. So then after that, because he didn't really make a move to take me out, I was like, you know what? I'm going to plan some stuff for us, and we're just going to go do something because I'm kind of tired of being in the house. Not because there's anything wrong with you, but I just don't really want to be in the house anymore. Um, did you guys break up? Yes, we broke up. Did he see the video? Yes, he saw the video. What does he think about it? Um, he didn't really have much to say because at the end of the day, like, as much as... um. A lot of men on this app and like I like I said like pick me women or just like unreasonable people want to make me out to be the bad guy um, I helped a lot like I think 
after maybe like six months that we started kind of going out like maybe two months later um something happened with his job and i paid his mortgage for him a few times um i paid the electricity bill a few times and after like three four months of that he got a job again and everything was good for him again but he never gave me back the money and I was okay with that because I'm like it is what it is like if we're gonna be together forever what's mine is his and if I have it I can do it right because if I have it I can do it so yeah but when I first initially made the video I didn't want to um it just looks so crazy you know what i'm saying because if i would have started off saying that of course everybody would have had just like one thing to say but i really wanted to highlight how awesome his personality was because i think that it really really is good and it's not i don't um believe that she was ill-intentioned i think that the problem today is that everything is on social media which i'm thankful for because it gives us more context so that we can have these conversations but it seemed like it's something else in there, right? If a dude is with a chick and she's so great to where she's got low expectations and you ain't even spending no money on her and she's paid your, your mortgage for at least from two to four months until you got a job again so you can get back on your feet. It's kind of hard for me to believe that that, that that type of woman is the type of woman that he would leave considering that we don't even know who this guy is or I don't know who this guy is because I don't, I don't care to do that type of research. I'm just going to react to what the content is that I see. Um, but the guy is willing to just break up with you right off the bat. The problem is that she went on social media and she said that this dude was broke. And it went viral. <laughs> and everybody caught wind of it. And anybody that knows him knows who he is. And so now she's... Re and on top of that, like, once, like, once you say, like, somebody's broke, like, man... And you were saying, like, you know, he goes to stuff. And it's just, like, he probably not broke. But, like, she was, in the first video, like, she was saying, like, he goes through a lot of shit. And he's, like, helping a lot of folks or whatever. That's how that's how it seemed. That's how she was putting, putting it out there. And so for that to uh, transpire, and he saw that, like, you kind of, like, probably hurt his pride. Like, if I was on the other foot seeing all that my pride would be fucked up so i get it you know what i'm saying so um especially if you're not broke you know what i'm saying but shit just has shit just happens life life sometimes you can't get a get around it it is what it is life just be life and sometimes so um he probably like you know a lot of that stuff she she shouldn't have said but i get why she said it but you know it's it's the repercussions and that's another thing with like social media everybody wants everybody puts everything on social media bro fucking sucks referring to him as broke so her sentiment towards him is absolutely destroyed or the way that he sees her seeing him is completely destroyed and i don't think that he could endure through that type of situation anymore considering that the video did go viral at the sex that i'm talking about like you can have other types of intimacy with people and that's why like i just felt so confused as to what to do because i really felt like this man just didn't know how to budget his money and as much as i talked to him about it as much as like when we first started dating he told me he had so much debt that his credit cards would max out so I was right away, like, anytime I saw him pull out his credit card, I'd be like, here, use mine. Don't use yours. When we're together, don't ever use your credit card. Mm -hmm. Like, I want that credit card debt to go down because just the thought of your interest is killing me. So I tried my best, and, like, we were together for two years, so people think that it was just, like, a four-month thing, and then I got tired. Like, no, it was two years and i was buying the groceries always for his house and my house um every time we went to do something i drove my car 
So I was the one that had to pay for gas. And the thing that one of the things that towards the end that happened that really pissed me off is that I was driving my car and he was in it. And then somebody hit me from the back by accident and it dented my car. So I realized kind of in that moment that it wasn't a us thing because he wasn't really like you know, like trying to help me deal with it. It was kind of like, oh, when are you going to deal with it? So you're going to drive around with a messed up bumper? Like, you know, and I was kind of like, bro, like cut me some slack. I'm working. I'm busy. Like, leave me alone. Like, I will fix my car. Like, it will get fixed. Like, I just need some time to take it to like an auto collision. And I don't know. It was just like little things that at some point I just realized that I can continue helping or I can leave. And I'm the type of person where if you date me, I will give you a time frame. Like, that's a big one. I will give you a time frame. And during this time frame, I'm not not giving. Like, I am very giving. I'm very loyal. I will show you unconditional love. But after the time frame is up, if you're not necessarily doing better or just like making some type of effort to do better, I don't think I could stay because it was like most women have an expiration date um based off of their circumstances because they want to pro they want to progress they want to grow they want to see things go better and so if this was if this is an accurate picture that she's painting and so we're just going to take her at her word because we don't know any differently uh, we don't know if it's true we don't know if it's not true but let's just assume that it's all true right the hitting of the bumper and stuff that's just the cherry on top she was already checked out because she was tired of having to carry in her opinion or take care of him or continue to pour into her pour into him and she didn't feel as though he was pouring into her at all right and so my thing is if that be the case then why did it take you two years to leave why did it take him breaking up with you off of a viral video if you didn't see him that way in the first place right and so I almost feel like she was looking for her out. I don't think that she had enough courage to actually break it up, on, break it off on her own. And she was looking for her out, and she was looking for an opportunity to say no. And so she then. What I was saying in the first video, I told you like she was already out, like she was already looking for a way out, and she's the type of person that needed the okay from other people. Or like he's saying, she probably just wanted a way for him to leave her, so the the it doesn't fall on her. You know what I'm saying? Like they just go back to the first video. You know what I'm saying? I should probably link the first video. Then the created a video that she didn't know was going viral because she was looking for somebody in the comments or the people in a general sense say, hey, leave, sis. Go and do your own thing, which is cool because if you're not married, you're not married and y'all was operating like y'all was married in the first place. So I, I largely stand by the principle that uh, you're not, you're single until you're married. And so y'all doing single people things should not be or y'all doing married people things should not be a thing in the first place so the fact that she's leading into the conversation doing things and paying the mortgage nah she should never do that straight up i'm just gonna be real with you she should never have been paying the mortgage at all because that's not your like that's not your chick and you see how easy it is for y'all to just walk away and this is why i say you're single until you're married because there is no us it's me and you until both of us get tired of each other and that's the end of the conversation like i said like just little things that i saw that became huge red flags like during one occasion he went away for work and he still owed me the money <laughs> so during the time that he was away from work um he would go to strip clubs a lot and he still owed me the money so my whole thing is like if you're away right now and you're working why not just start to pay me back some? Like, why not even like just $200 a month or something or $100 a month? Like, why just like continue to go to strip clubs, just continue to have fun? Like the, the sometimes like the money he did have, it just was never like towards me. Like, you know, if I paid for um, a concert, I also paid for the drinks. And then he would buy himself merch. So it's kind of like, when was it going to... So you was the finesse. That's what it comes down to. You was the finesse. Y'all was never together. You was in your mind. And he was never with you. And you was the finesse. 
You was a sugar mama. You was a sugar mama. That's really what it comes down to. Gonna be sort of somewhat reciprocated towards me. But like I said, like he has a great personality. He's gonna be fine. Um, he saw the video, but he doesn't have much to say because what is he gonna say? Like he still owes me money. Like, am I ever gonna get the money back? I mean, I don't know. I don't think so because it's been like over a year since I've given all the money and that's not even counting for like me paying for groceries, um, me paying for gas, like just like if we went outside, like every time I was the one that bought the coffee, if we went outside, even if it wasn't dinner, it was just a simple lunch, I was the one that got the lunch and wow. it's almost like I did read some comments that people were saying like, you probably started off like that and he got comfortable with it so yeah like that's probably what happened like next time i definitely won't act as like i got thirsty <laughs> desperate and he had a great personality because that's what it took in order to finesse you that's how i see it i see the great personality as a finesse Got it or i can get it or it's fine i can do it you know what i'm saying like next time i will be more like restrained because i do think that i'm the type of person that once you enter my life i don't shy away from gifting or giving because gift giving is my love language but in the first video she said that like you know she's like also like if she don't got it even if she has it so it's just like which one was it because in the first video you made it seem like he was you know down and out on his luck and you was holding him down but now you're trying to make it seem like he was just I don't know. This is weird now. Like it's it's this one this one flipped the script on me. I don't know how to explain it. This one weird. So that's a big one for me. Like maybe I need to find somebody with an equal love language as me because I'm the type of person where if you don't have a coffee machine, you best believe if I'm chilling in your house, I'm buying you an espresso. And that was another thing too. I bought him an espresso, and every time that we bought coffee, I bought it, not him. But yet, I was buying coffee for my home and his home. So that's what I'm talking about, where I can no longer sustain two people. I just can't do it. Like, and I don't want to do it. And I do believe that I deserve better. And that's basically where I'm at. And like I said, he's going to be fine. And I'd rather take the L after two years than take the L after eight years. Because sometimes some women are really scared to walk away and i'm happy that at least no shame to them but i'm happy that at least for myself like i kind of always get to a point where enough is enough and you know whatever like maybe one day you know he's 40 but maybe one day he'll turn his life around and give me back my money and be able to like provide a little bit or do a 50 listen baby we just go ahead and end this here you're not getting your money back. That's <laughs> it. Uh, you guys are going in different directions. Uh, if he's 40, he is who he is. So whoever it is that you chose to be with at 38 is who he was going to be at when he was 40. He's probably going to be the same when he's 45 and 50. And if he decides to change, it's going to be based off of him, not nothing that you do for him or no conversation that you have with him. And so these women just going to have to start choosing better and they're going to have to start being with people um, that's more closely aligned with the direction that they're going in, but you can't complain about the thing that you chose because he showed you who he was in the very beginning and he never switched up. I don't know if y'all, I don't know why y'all think that y'all gonna change these guys into being different than they really are. You're not. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. And you're just gonna have to swallow your pride. My question then is, and I'm curious as to what you guys think in the comments, what are her red flags? And why is she at 30 who... By all means, seems to be a pretty girl. And the way that she's describing herself is absolutely awesome. And she's been paying for everything, but this guy is willing to break up with her immediately. Immediately. Not even like a day later, but immediately after he see that. After he's been basically finessing her according to what she's been saying for this entire time. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. That's what I'm saying. Like the first video, she made him seem like he be going through a lot. 
and that he like just be struggling you know what i'm saying so that's weird now now i'm kind of like on on what he said like what you know we not gonna we not gonna ever know about what you know, he got going on because niggas like niggas don't like this internet shit at all but uh something she is something a part of this story that we not getting and we never gonna get as a whole but it's it's something about this story that uh ain't ain't sitting right because uh he like he said he definitely uh he left quick bro he left quick and for her to be going through all that it's just weird bro it's just really weird uh anyway youtube y'all like comment subscribe y'all subscribe to me man like y'all y'all see the motion we got the motion bro just fuck with your boy you know what i'm saying damn I don't know how many times I gotta say that. Uh, the ones that is fucking with me, the ones that is subscribing to me. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? And if you wanna see me come react to this shit live, come over here to Twitch with the game. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we out.